You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here, I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lays below. Some air fresheners, a new coat of paint, and it'll all be good as new. If only it were that simple. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this. Wasterland, I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. Kellogg called me the backup. Did he? Well, he was correct. I was a perfect candidate, an infant with uncorrupted dare. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of Pruordna, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role, so you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. Your unconditional love is overwhelming. I think I need a moment. I can accept that you're offended. You must understand, though. I have had no love to feel. We have been strangers until now, you and I. Certainly, it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else, would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you, after all this time, attempt to find me? Now I know the answer. Sean, you need to know. I still love you. I can see that you do. It's, well, it's remarkable. There are greater things to come after your success at Bunker Hill. The synths have been safely returned and will be reproposed. Thank you for your work. I hope you weren't at too much risk. It was a job that needed doing. Yes, but it was also a job that you needed to be aware of. The railroad remains an annoyance, of course, but they'll be dealt with as necessary. And you, well, you've passed the test. As they say, you have done well. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. Our appreciation, really. It's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in. Let's get this directorate meeting over with before we speak further. It's, well, it's important.
Good. We're all here. I think it's time we begin. Sir, excuse me, but what exactly is she doing here? I will address that issue, but there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ao has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes, uh... Watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good. Thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on pace three? Uh, sir, are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? Uh, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about phase three? I don't think so. It's all right. I wouldn't expect you to have. The project has been classified from the beginning. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real tangible power, the kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. Right. Such hard times down here. I would never disagree that life in the Institute is better than above ground. We have done much to ensure it. Now, we take things even further. Phase 3 is, simply, the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Sounds like an important step. That's... well, that's an understatement. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to phase 3. And to how you will help. Sir. Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously we would rely on Kellogg for above ground operations. Yes, well, he is gone. While I am not overly fond of putting my own mother in harm's way, she has proven more than capable of handling herself. Y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. What? Please, everyone, please. I am sorry. This is not how I'd wanted to tell you, but we're running out of time. You're dying? I'm afraid so. A very aggressive form of cancer. Believe me when I say we've done everything we can. We can talk more. Later, right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interests of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my mother as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? She isn't one of us! She isn't even a scientist! Ignoring your borderline insubordinate turn, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my mother has already proven herself more than capable in that regard. That will conclude this meeting. Thank you. I hope you have learned something from what happened at Warwick. That was a costly mistake. We don't usually welcome outsiders. I hope you can appreciate your good fortune. Clayton. I'm glad you're here. I'd like to conduct an experiment, but I need some assistance with it. I believe we can improve the growth rates of our crops by using mutated cells, such as those found in super mutants. To test this theory, I'll need a tissue sample from a particularly strong super mutant. I expect I'll eventually need several such samples, but let's just start with one. You need a tissue sample from a strong super mutant. Got it. That's right. Now remember, only a particularly hardy super mutant will fit the bill for this experiment. I don't need it right away, but if you do come across such a specimen, I'd be grateful if you could bring back a